Oh my <laughs> Jesus, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Today, we got George Chen from Canada here. He's a boxer, and he came down here for the Canelo plant fight, which is super cool, because I've been following you on Instagram for a long time, and I love all of your boxing tips. And today, like in traditional Barbell Brigade fashion, every time I meet someone that I look up to, um, they have to kick my ass. <laughs> I don't know why. But that's something that the writing team always does on this channel, which is amazing. So, obviously, you've been you said how long have you been training boxing? Eight years, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna kick my ass really bad. No, no. So for the first round, we'll do a regular sparring, right? Yeah. And then um, the second round, because I've trained boxing a little bit before, I understand the levels to it. Yeah, yeah. So I wanna demonstrate to people, like if you have zero offense, and I'm just trying to hit you, like how much you can matrix my ass. Okay, cool. you know, Because I think cool. most people when they're at the bar, especially when they're with like their girlfriend or whatever, like, yeah, I'll kick his ass, you know? And they're always like that. And I'm like, bro, dude, like, when you try to fight someone that has been training eight years or more, you're just gonna be hitting air. But people don't, they think they're so badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, after I have two black eyes, uh, maybe you can show me some things I could do to get better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. So you we're going to do uh, two 10 second rounds. So <laughs> let's see what you could do. Yeah, you get, you get a lot <laughs> done in 10 seconds. Yep. Yep. All right, that's it. Well, what's the game plan? All right. So my game plan is stay in the ball uh -huh. and then don't move very much. I think you, you start with light taps and he thinks it's like a light sparring, but you hit as hard as, as, hard as yeah, I yeah, can, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. And then you tell him that's your light. Yeah, you're yeah. just strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Five days. Oh shit, how did yeah. you have one? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, it was yeah. crazy. How was the fight? Dude, the atmosphere was unreal. Like, the Canelo fans, like, that's everything a boxer dreams of, you know? Oh, yeah. You got this. Oh, absolutely. I don't like the smile on this guy's face, dude. I'm, I <laughs> just, I'm, I'm always smiling, I'm always smiling. Let's touch gloves, make it fair. Oh, Three, I already felt the power, oh two, shit. One, start. Oh my Jesus, what <laughs> okay. the fuck? Are you kidding me? There you go. Oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Those muscles are making him tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, dude, don't give me that bullshit. <laughs> dude, can you jab the camera? I literally thought someone was firing a gun at me. You know, the jab is everything in boxing. The jab, everything behind the jab. <laughs> always, always. I'll be honest, I thought jabs were fucking bullshit <laughs> until I saw you throw them. And you know how they always say like, Stay behind the jab. Stay behind, always. And then when I saw yours, I was like, I see what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. And it's the tip of the whip, right? Like yeah. you roll up a towel. Yeah. And you flick it at someone, right? Yeah. It's the tip. Because now, like, if you're always behind it, 
I'm always hesitant. I'm like, yeah. oh shit. Especially because like I'm a little longer than you. So I just I just sit back. I sit back. I just wait. But you're patient. Like you didn't you didn't come swinging like you guys said you would. So I've I don't been, know what I <laughs> I've been I mean I've been in a bunch of like sparring sessions before. Yeah, yeah. And I know how it plays out if I do. <laughs> I try to like. Yeah, I was like just waiting because I just wanted to <laughs> touch you a little bit if you came in, but you were patient. You were patient, because yeah, like how how we box, it's always back here, make it hard. Is the pace. weight mainly should it be on the back foot? Different boxing like styles and systems. Yeah. Will have different setups. Some guys, they fight a little more front foot heavy. Yeah. We fight back here. My coach calls it being like, if you got a gun, you don't want to stick your gun out the window. You want to be hidden behind the window. So we sit back here and we shoot from behind, oh. out inside the window. Instead of coming out here, now I shorten my distance because I'm taller than you. Yeah, yeah. If I fight here, I'm giving you a lot more distance. So I just I just sit back here. I got like, I want to say 60% of my weight on the 60, back leg. That's why I was like saying the muscular imbalances, mm. right? Yeah, like I sit back here and I just watch. Every time you, you make a move, I just take a little half step and then you gotta reset all that distance. Everything you work for, every time you take a step, I'm here, I'm here. And then eventually you lunge, bang. And that's it. Distance is key in boxing. It is key. Distance. Distance is key. Oh, my heart rate. Oh my God. Oh, right. Okay. okay. If you're ready, yep. just close. Get ready, three, two, one, go. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you motherfucker. Come on, bite all you. All you. <laughs> I know. All you. I'm wasting energy still. God damn. I'm trying to. Oh my goodness. 15 seconds. Nice work. God damn. See? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. These dumbasses at the bars that are like, dude, throw me in there. Dude, I've probably been boxing on and off probably like two years. Like, and, and by two years, I mean like once or twice a week, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I understand the concept of it. Yeah. But even then, it's like hitting air. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I, I feel like you know what I'm going to do before I even do it, you know? Absolutely. It's like I said, it's about distance. Yeah. And. You move well. You move. You do move well. You, you. you got your form. It's just tightening everything up. Go watch your videos. Yeah, make sure you check them out. GC Boxing. But yeah, like uh, you got to make sure like you want to keep tight everything right here. Am I not tight? Yeah, because like when you throw your punch, you see it coming because you, you open up. Like right before you punch. Bitch. Right before you punch, you're kind of like, like when you throw that right hand, you go. Oh, right. so you see that? But if I throw my right hand, like I'm gonna be here oh, using the jab, using the jab. Bang. And you just, you just wanna throw it from here, from your, from your position, from, from your guard. Yeah, from Is your, your guard. elbow touching your chest. Yeah, uh, just against the side of your ribs, because we didn't like really do. But like this shot, you don't want to take that liver shot. So you want to keep this just tucked in all the time, and then you're holding the phone with your right hand. So Hello? then, not only is that defensively responsible, now. I, I keep you busy with that left, 
then you don't see that right hand. It's just kind of sitting here, right? Yeah. It's no threat. It's no threat until suddenly oh you just drop it Yeah. So as simple as like, your di number one is your distance. So instead of like trying to hit me from out here, you should get yourself into the range. So you just want to feel it out. You get a little closer right around there where you're one half step. Now, all you got to do is step with your front foot and keep that hand as still as possible and shoot it straight up. How do you keep that? This is, this is how do you keep that still as possible? So you don't want you don't want the elbow coming up. The chicken wing, huh? Yeah, and you don't like you don't like you do a little bit of like your hands like here. Yeah. So it's good and bad sometimes. Yeah. Like if I keep it like this, yeah, it's your peripheral vision, right? You won't yeah. be able to see any <clears throat> before it's oh too my late. God. As opposed to like if I'm doing like like this and then like you see the little motion oh. before the shot. So then all I got to do, I'm watching here, I'm watching here. I see something, I just pull out, especially I'm tall. So I just got to step back. Keep high. it like this? Yeah. Just Don't keep move it. too, is it below the eyes? Is it? Right, like comfortable, like okay. right under your eyes, right here. So like and then, yeah, you take there, that step and then just shoot. Boom. Yes. Yes. So I take that, take that with a step. Yeah. You just take a little back step off that so front foot. Should I be in a range where, can you get in your stance? Yeah. Should I be in a range where if, if I don't take a step, I won't hit you, but I have, but then if I do take a step, I will hit you. Exactly. Exactly. But you have, that, that's your range. Now I got my range. So you need to get in there, but remain safe. So when you're in there, that means I could be jabbing you. So when you're in there, you got to have your head moving, your hands high. Like if you watch the Canelo plant fight, like he's coming in, he's slipping, keeping those hands high. Cause plants are taller than Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like okay. it's a myth that you can't out jab the taller opponent. You just got to get into your distance and you can out jab them. So what yeah. would I have to do to get in your range without getting smashed in the face? So you're going to want to take your head off the center line, moving that head and basically react. Like if you see my jab coming, which is hard because I got a good jab. <laughs> but if you see my jab Sometimes coming. Sometimes you punch me and I blink after you hit me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that jab is important. So if you, if you can manage to slip out of my jab, right? And you take that step in when you slip. So right here, you just like, just push off that back. Oh, take a step Drop. in. Yeah, yeah, take a step in. Right now, if I don't step back, if you come back to your stance, come back to your stance, and then just shoot your jab now from here. Bang. Now oh. you're gonna catch me with your jab. But if you, you shoot try your jab, that one time? yeah, yeah. So if I go here, you step in. Like make sure you slip oh. that jab. Oh, okay. So I'm like here, you sh you step in, slip and step at the same time. Oh, so you want to just step. drop your hip. Drop oh, under wow. that shot. Just drop right okay. under that jab. Wow. Good. Now, if I don't step back, if I just go here and I shoot your jab, boom, it's going to come right through. Oh. As opposed to like you being out there, you try to jab me there, I'm going to hit you every time because I'm longer. Because I'm at my distance. Get to your distance and it's fair game. I see. Yeah. Okay. What's another pointer based off of what you've seen me do? Breathing. Relax. As relaxed as you can be. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Like, just keeping everything in here. And like, there's a saying in boxing is like, you want to throw your punch, like you don't even know you're going to throw it. So I'm chilling here. I'm like, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. And you just let your punches go as opposed to kind of like what you did. I like, I know when you're about like, you're strong. You're you can dude. feel me think I huh? can feel the, like the instinct is danger, right? I can see it. I can feel it. Especially even in here, because you can't, I, when I'm here, I don't need to see, but I can feel your tense, like you get tense. Yeah. Like if I'm, like if I'm here, like I'm relaxed, get, get in your stance, I'm relaxed. You don't know if I'm gonna suddenly throw. But you don't but know if, if I'm I do this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but you don't know if I might like that. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, like if, you, if you're in there, yeah. now suddenly, if I'm like, that, you know I'm about to do something. Yeah. It's instinct. I see. Yeah, yeah. But if so you stay, stay relaxed, stay loose. Is there an exercise I can do, like, or is it a mindset? Is it like if I'm jogging, Bro, try to like probably stay like or? chronic masturbation. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like if you just like it's yeah, running and just like learning to get into a calm state when you're in a fight or flight situation. Because it's hard. Like when you're fighting, like yeah. the adrenaline is going. But if you like Especially that's if you get hit a couple yeah. times, like, oh shit. That's experience. Yeah. Oh. You just gotta do enough sparring that you just like you know you're in a like you you know you can be safe and you just and just take deep breaths, breathe in, breathe in your nose, not the mouth, I see. and then you'll be good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys want to learn more boxing tips, where can they find you? On Instagram at GC Boxing. Who's Jabs Faster? Watch.
Bam. Oh, that's pretty quick. That's Thank pretty quick, but, but I mean. <laughs> okay. All right, see you guys next time. So you could have you could have committed more. Like you could have like really tried for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's, I don't know. I don't want to like. I'm trying to like use my brain to think. Yeah, and yeah. See what you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Then just being like. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Then no. just swing. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But no, like you're patient. Like you got it. You got it. Yeah.